morning. Morning. Friday. Into day two. Day two of our staycation. This one doesn't want to walk this morning. He doesn't like it. He's been sleeping all morning. He has, yes. Um, we're just going to walk into the village, sort of. It's, it's like a bit of high shop. street. Yeah, we've seen a sweet shop. It's like a little high street, isn't it? Is it, is it Washington High Street? Yeah, it must be. It must be. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a little look there. And, uh, Shaking. Yeah, it's so dramatic, puppet. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to walk. <laughs> You're fine. Oh, thanks. Um, so yeah, come along with us for that. Then we're going to come back, pack up the car, and head to a... Amberley. Is it Amberley? Yeah, but what's the coffee place that we're going to? Oh yeah, we're going to go to the um, brew house project. Yeah. Which you can't remember the name of. No. Ever. It, it's a good... About four or five times this morning. What's the name of the place we're going to this morning? <laughs> it's a converted barn that's like a coffee and brewery place. Yeah. Oh, oh, anyway, come with us. <laughs> come on. Keep walking. And we're just arriving on the high street now, and Master Digby, as we're going to re affectionately refer him to because he just <laughs> travels like royalty, is uh, still enjoying his ride. <laughs> his ride. His chariot. His chariot. <laughs> yeah. What else would you call it? Yeah. Less than a five minute walk to this high street. It's got everything you need. A bank, a post office, country life, pet supplies. This place, I don't think we're going to have time to try it while we're here, but this looks lovely. It's a, a Nesto Lounge. Look at it, it's really nice. Yeah. Very posh, very posh. Masks on, and uh, first stop for us, Sorry. Pets Corner. <laughs> <laughs> and this one doesn't want to go in, there's treats here. But no, it's bribing with some chicken. And someone found something that, oh, it's sausages. And this is the sweet shop that we were talking about. I am excited by the fact it's got M&Ms in the window. We have found the M&Ms. We love these. It's like a treasure trove, this place. Mm -hmm. Digby. Oh, birthday cake flips. Oh. That was a really lovely little walk. The time's gone really quickly. I probably could have spent like another hour wandering around there. We only ended up in two shops. I think it's because we decided to pick out a coke for this one. Yeah, that's true. It took a little while. <laughs> yes. Um, the sweet shop that we went into was really good. Um, they had a lot of American sweets in there. We have stocked up when we get back the airbnb will show you the couple of bits and pieces that we bought not too expensive either obviously standard imported american uh, sweets but all independently owned and uh, we are a big fan of uh, <laughs> we where are. we can supporting local businesses when we go on our staycations so tick in the box now this one's in for a good time yeah sleepy now i think he's like just let me sleep um sleep <laughs> morning but now time to think about lunch so and a coffee I want a coffee <laughs> i need caffeine <laughs> so that's what we're gonna go do now carried again pampered boy mm. sir <laughs> this is something that dean's gonna be very excited about we've been stopped at the level crossing and we're front row to see <laughs> the train well not anymore somebody took a front row seat uh. and they might <laughs> a short train. Can I meet my son? This is where we have come for lunch. Uh, it's got loads of outside seating. I think we can sit inside as well. So it's a coffee house and also brewery. Looks very nice. This looks very cool. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very fun. And this um, Ed comes is that how you say it that was the cafe that we were going to go to but they provide coffee here so bonus keeping it real i forgot to bring digby's bowl and he wouldn't eat his food out of the little uh, container that i put his meat in because he clearly has standards but uh i had a empty ziploc bag and so i've poured it out on there 
and that is how he is dining. <laughs> this is his new coat as well and uh, I think it looks like a Harry Potter cloak and uh, great colour. Ten points for Gryffindor. What have you gone for? Reuben. These look incredible. Here, here upon a a little ear, yeah, so you can have mine. I might try one. Then I've obviously got a coffee, and coffee I went for actually. yeah, I went for a Reuben as well. Yeah, they don't do cheese sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Mm. Yeah. They don't do branded here, do they? So they've no. just got local. Apparently, it's made with real cola nut. I didn't know there was such thing as a cola nut. No, neither did I. Learn something new every day. Yeah. But let's eat. Well, Diggers just sits down there. All right, Diggers. Oh, so got the ginger beer. Yeah, it's got a little shop too. So all beers that are refrigerated, and then all these bottles as well, and glasses. Oh, and they sell coffee too. What was? What do you reckon? Cosmic bone juices. I know Lionel Richie's on it. Lionel Richie's on it. What did you think of the um, brew house project? Brew house project. <laughs> you will remember it at some point. <laughs> I will. What did you think? That was really nice. Yeah, it was lovely, wasn't it? And um, oh, at the roundabout, you need to go straight across. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was really nice and they, as I showed, they had a little shop and there was one beer that was on draft that we couldn't see in cans. It was an apple crumble beer. Yeah. So we asked and actually they do sell it as like you can get it to take away. They just put it in a um, litre bottle, they gas it and it will last for up to a week. Or you have to drink it within 24 hours of opening. But that was really cool. It costs a little bit more than it would just to buy a um, you know can. But that was fine, we really wanted to try it. Yeah, but it was and we couldn't really drink it because it's 6.5% or whatever it was. Yeah, so. even if we shared one, like, it would be a bit much. Um, it's actually third exit, so yeah. you're going over to the right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got our fast asleep puppy in the back. We are- I was gonna say, it's the first time you joined me in a fun so far, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice actually. Um, yeah, we're a little bit late for our time slot to get into the, is it the Amberley Museum and yeah. Heritage Centre that we're going to. They had it in three time slots. So they had, it was like 10, half 11 and one. So just to stagger people going in. I don't know if that's something that they do all the time or it's just COVID times. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Like we're not that late. It's only 10 past one and we're about five minutes away now. So I'm sure that will be fine. And then that closes at half four. So we've got time to have a good look around, see what it's about read really. The signs. Read, read the signs. Um, before heading back, deciding what to do with a couple of hours and then dinner at a dog friendly pub. Yeah, what time are we at that book? Seven o'clock. So we've got plenty of time. It's nice and chilled. It's chilled. It's how we like it. One thing to mention about this museum I've just seen on the sign, I think it's only open Wednesday to Sunday. Oh, is it? Yeah, so just something to bear in mind if you were planning a trip, Wednesday to Sunday. Sleepy puppy. Just spotted. It's fine. Love it. <laughs> Come on, let's actually get inside. So the car park is just a little bit of a walk away from the entrance. And so it begins. Expect this to be just uh, me talking. <laughs> this is going to be me talking on the vlog and Dean's just reading signs and then he'll tell me. I'll do like this. And just look at the stuff. Okay. Coughs and sneezes spread diseases. 
Oh, the times we live in. If anyone is interested, here are the prices as of September 2020. So it's open to half past one. So it's uh, half past one now, so we've got three hours. It must be okay because last entry is at three o'clock, so it means that you can get round some stuff in sort of a few hours. One thing we haven't got yet is our magnet. Maybe here will be the place to get a magnet. Um, time face masks are needed. We have got our lovely ones from Pine 39. Got to take a bit of Disney everywhere we go. So I'm toy. I'm Toy Story in it up. Oh, upside my down. <laughs> oh yeah, my clouds are upside down. And your Epcot in. It's very hard to vlog and put a mask on. I'll tell you, it's 2020 problems. That is. Oh yeah, I didn't know, just discover the issue with glasses and. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's alright, we don't have to wear them inside, it's fine. My Nana had a sewing machine like this. Not too dissimilar actually, although a slightly more modern version. <laughs> cool. So we're in, up in the sky, there's a stunt plane doing like barrel rolls and uh, loops and stuff, it's really cool. Yeah, Not so. part of the, where we are. What's it called again? Amberley Museum. Amberley Museum. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> um, but we get we get given a map and we'll show you yeah, it's the, quite large, it's yeah, quite a large it's really place. large so oh, there's loads of different displays um just different buildings so we have to wear our masks when we're inside but outside we're absolutely fine but the um man suggested that we get on the train that goes all the way up to the back here and then walk back down because it's on a slight slope and uh, you love a train you love a train mate and a plane I must say actually we haven't we've only been on a train at Disney once and that was in Disneyland Paris wasn't it because it's closed it was closed in Florida when we went last year then we went back to Paris it was closed yeah so I mean this is as close to uh, the Main Street <laughs> Railroad or the uh, Disney Railroad that we're gonna get so uh, I'm here for it I'm gonna dig these Chilling. What's really great about this place actually is that dogs are allowed everywhere. They don't even have to be in bags or carriage. They are allowed to roam around. So that's good to know. Very pet friendly. Right, let's have a little wander. You wanted to get out? Uh, yeah, it looks like he... It's about to go on his first train ride. Oh. Chicken is life. <laughs> Oh, you said you No, you're going to have the chicken, so you just assume you have a chicken. You assumed the wrong boy. It was chicken, wasn't it? I gave him the bone. Oh, the did bone you? Floor, yeah. Yeah. I recognise some of these phones. I think my will be divided into about four or some point. Customers will be able to tailor the service. Is that one got like a webcam? By selecting the zone that you need to be paid. Thus, keep in touch will become. It's like an extreme toilet roll holder. Just the telephone. And uh, this one's stylish. Look, you can put your own picture in there. <laughs> and then uh, more Disney ones. I think I had that Motorola. That was the uh, Matrix one. Oh it? yeah, the mo yeah. Well, they, I called had... it, they called it the Matrix one, but the one was the slide down one, which was more like. Uh... It's really depressing that we're in a museum and that was my first phone, if that's a Nokia 3310 or 30. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh look, there we go. 3310. Yep. Wow. Mad. I don't have one. <laughs> no, yours was more old. 
<laughs> you want can the camera now? Drag her into the railway a bit. <laughs> you can see the sock in your eyes through the mask. <laughs> Yay, crying. <laughs> Love a bit of rail, Bubba Love. Yeah, I'm alright. We went, we've got a whole vlog. Only your rail museum. Piece of interesting information about the Averly Amberley. Amberley Museum. <laughs> <laughs> um, one day I'll get it right. Uh, there was part of A View to Kill, one of the James Bond films. Don't hear. Well, they're at the California. Gold mine. Yeah. They're actually just outside here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Gutted. There's loads of boxes of uh, railway magazines there, but the exhibition's closed at the moment. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, no. oh. Oh, I bet that's where you can like dress up as a conductor for kids. That's cute. <laughs> So we're in a chalk pit, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Reminds me very much, well, you said it earlier mm -hmm. actually, Blue Water Shopping Centre, close to where we live, because that's in a chalk pit. It's really quiet here. It's actually really nice because it means that going around the exhibitions, you don't really have to be worrying too much because there's not really anybody else there. Like, there's a few people, but it's really easy to keep your distance. Yeah, they the busiest one first because it's got the James Bond bit. Yeah, and they've um, cordoned off sort of some of the areas, I guess, just to make it quite a neat flow. Um, so they've actually done it really well. We don't have to be wearing our masks outside, but keep taking them on and off. It's a bit of a faff, so just leaving it on. Oh, we're, at, we're back to another train station. This is the little train that we went on. I'm not sure that we'll take Digby on it again. He's alright. Yeah. Snack. Little snack. Little snack. What we got, what we got. Peanut butter, M&M's. I've got the M&M man on the front. <laughs> oh, peanut yeah. Butter oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. We bought a couple of other American goodies which we will show you when we get back to the Airbnb. I didn't have time before we had to come out again. But I will show you what we got later. Are you going to share? Share what? Rude. Thank you. Love peanut butter m and For anyone who says, oh, you can get peanut ones in England, they're the same. Uh-uh. I don't like peanut m ms Peanut butter m ms I love them. Weird, I know. Oh, pottery. Wear your face coverings. <laughs> they actually had your name, didn't they? That's the first. Did they have Katie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And they had Kate. And they got Katie. I wonder, with if, I wonder if they've got Catherine spelled the way you actually spell it. No. We've got Katrina. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ding Darren. These are pretty too. Eh? Very cute. Where do we go? Do we go up and over? Are you taking me a million miles away? Oh sorry, it is up and over, yeah. You don't know, you don't want to go up and over to get to the nature trail. Yeah? Yeah. I thought we were already on the nature trail. Apparently not. Oh. I think we've just come up, come up this bit and we... Oh, I see. Oh, so we are missing all the other bits. Oh, we can walk back to them. Weird. How's this? Bird as well. Wonder where they found that. <laughs> we 
We just saw a deer. I think it was a baby deer. It was little. It didn't catch it on camera. Definitely a female if it wasn't a baby deer. Interesting. Oh, thank you. There we go. Go there. Oh, I'm kissing no, gay. No, you first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun of everyone. We have all finished up at the. Come on, come on, you're gonna get it. Here's my name. Yeah. <laughs> We've just finished at the Amberley Museum. Uh, it was actually really good. It had, it, I, I don't really know how to describe it. I guess it's like a, oh, yeah, um, I guess it was like an oldie woldy museum where you could go into all these different buildings and it shows how life was. So they had like an old fire station, um, like a shoe repair. And then they had like little exhibitions for like TV and radio through the ages and all things like that, didn't they? So I guess yeah, it's just it was a insane. step back in time. Yeah, it was kind of insane. I took mine and they've like relocated old buildings and... Yeah, it was cool. It wasn't too expensive and we definitely spent a solid three hours there. And that didn't include like stopping to go in any of the cafes or anything. It was literally just looking around. And I reckon that probably there were a few things that we didn't see as well, so I think you easily could probably spend another hour there at least, especially if you were going to the cafe. So yeah, quite mean, a nice. It's a bit longer for us because of the sort of big bay, but <laughs> yes. But um, all in all, like a really good place to visit. I'd, re I'd recommend that. Yeah, pretty nice. I, did I did enjoy the train as well. Um, so so obviously. <laughs> yeah, we're now heading back. Um, we've taken a slight wrong turn, but it's fine. Um, we've got the sat nav on, and so it's saying it's about 27 minutes. So I think it's under half an hour to our Airbnb in Washington where we're staying. Um, we need to stop and get some toothpaste because our travel tube has seized. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly been so long since we travelled anywhere and used a bit of it last time that it's <laughs> has really seized up, hasn't it? So we've got as much out of it as we can. Um, so we're going to go back, then we'll probably only have about an hour, an hour and a bit to chill, um, give Digby his dinner and freshen up and head out for dinner. And so I'm looking forward to dinner. Yeah, that should be nice. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm not like really hungry, but I'm, I'm definitely road. feeling dinner. But, oh, go left here. Got me on a date. Yeah. Isn't our um, Airbnb on Mill Road? Obviously a different Mill Road. Yeah, it is, yeah. Or oh, no, Mill, Mill Lane. Oh, okay. We've got a pooch who literally, Turn left as soon as we put him in the car, he was gone. So uh, we think we are getting over the car anxiety, which is good. Next thing we need to get over is just the randomly barking at people. Mainly children. Yeah. When he just wants to say hello. I was going to say he just wants to say hello. But what we think it is, is because for most of his life, he has, when he's met people, it's been people who have been like coming to play or giving him attention. So I think he now sort of just assumes that everybody is going to give him attention, which one thousand feet isn't always the case. Then keep right. Yes. Now to get some toothpaste and chill. <laughs> we haven't filmed for a while, but we're now at the pub. When do we last time? I don't know. Who knows? Uh, we're when we were in the car, actually, on the way back. Yeah, we're at. The World's End pub. This is sort of some of the food that they have on offer. You can order and pay on an on. I think is it an app? Yeah, it's an app. Yeah. But we're just table service. Yeah, everything's been table service. Yeah. Actually good. Yeah, Look, it's fun. very. Oh, oh yes, yeah. table number. But um, it's really pretty actually, and it's dog friendly. That room looks so cosy in there. And then we have a puppy down here playing away. He's just run out of snacks, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. 
This looks so good. So we went for the garlic bread, which is actually a side on the mains, but we asked if we could have it as a starter. And what was this? Lamb kofta. Lamb kofta. Mmm. Looks good. Let's eat. Mains. I went for steak and ale pie. Of course you did. Oh, wow. <laughs> what did you oh, go for? I went for a chicken Caesar burger. Oh. 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 What's he got? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look. 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 Why aren't you sleepy, puppy? Look. 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 We stopped off at Aldi on the way home because I didn't want dessert at the pub because I was full. But then I was like, oh, so you really need ice cream. Yeah, just to finish it off. So we popped in and we bought Bobble Mania. Thank and not really bobbly. Bobbly. <laughs> yeah. bobbly. So we bought those 99p for four. I mean, can you go wrong? Nope. And our battery is flashing to say that we are running out of battery and I am running out of battery. So we will That's see great. you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. No. We are on day three. We've got some friends. Hi, you may know. <laughs> These are Mac and Sarah, and we're gonna link their Instagram and YouTube below, so make sure you follow them. We are out. Oh, sorry, Dean, you're too. <laughs> yeah, he's around. And we're out on a doggy walk. We have got Diggers down here, and we've got Dozer, and they're being very good. So, where are we, guys? You can be our. We are Rustington Greensword. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're kind of in East Preston at the moment. Ah. That's where we are. Um, we're going for a walk and then. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so tiny. And then we're going to go grab some brunch. So, uh, yeah, we, we're attracting a lot of attention from the dogs and our little dog walk. So, we're, we're taking a little longer than normal. But uh, nothing new there with these I guys. I think he's quicker than normal because he's actually walking. Yeah, that's true. He's doing well, isn't he? <laughs> he is. He is. There we go. You're Instagram famous, YouTube famous. Yeah. Oh, thank you. so good we are home you are indeed we have had such a lovely few days so it must be away yeah we didn't really film very much when we were with mac and sarah because we were just enjoying our time with them and Dover. Enjoying, enjoying being around real people yeah it was so lovely that was a real highlight of our weekend away you both probably caught the sun yeah i think that. we might have done actually because i've sorted your neck and i just looked at my cheek <laughs> It's not as red in real life <laughs> as it looks on the camera. It's pretty bad. Um, just before we call it a day on the vlog, thought we would show you the sweets that we bought in oh, we didn't show the sweet shop. We? we didn't show you. So, <laughs> yeah. let us show you. Not those. Right, not those. <laughs> not those. <laughs> um, they were bought, they were the fudge we bought. Huh? Yeah, um, someone on Instagram, I can't remember who it was, recommended Roly's fudge and we'd actually just bought Roly's fudge and um, they were 100% right it tastes amazing um, so first of all salted caramel Twix I don't think this is an American thing I think this is a, an English thing because it's like 65p so it must be a yeah that's right I haven't seen the salted caramel one no. and anything salted caramel is a big win for me I love everything birthday cake flavour so they had birthday cake mm. 
like American chocolate cake. cake that is not like Victoria sponge. Yeah, America. Oh, like my Costco cake that I had for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> mm, so um, that one's for me. Then Dean picked up some nerds. Nerds. Again, I don't know if these are American. Uh, I don't know if they sell them over here anymore. Yeah. They are. Oh, they're yeah, being But you used to have them all the summer, didn't you? So yeah. they're so, so teenager. So very cherry and what a melon. There you go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, and then of course M Ms. We have already eaten a pack. So no, our, we have, don't, don't. <laughs> this is a, our no, staple go to peanut butter. Um, it is crazy how expensive they are over here compared to like the kilo size that you get in America. I remember like, speaking to the um, shop owner and he was just like, we told him how much we spent for a kilo bag and he was like, wow, yeah, very expensive over here. They're like three times the amount. Um, but just, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. We just love these so we had to pick those up. And we haven't tried this flavour before, fudge brownie. Can't roll fudge brownie. You can't. Yeah. So we are going to try and make these last more than a day. I think we've got to ration them. Uh, probably last day you land, if that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, that is all for this vlog. No idea mm, if it... Poppies up so oh. near and like rattling around. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on our staycation and our first staycation with a puppy. And we hope that you enjoyed. Yeah, it has been really fun. Oh, it's got a flip flop. <laughs> um, please hit like <laughs> if you enjoyed and subscribe to see all of our future content. We've got some house renovation updates, um, Legoland, and also some staycations coming in the next couple of months. Fingers yes. crossed. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining and we will see you again next time. Bye. Bye. There's something about you that caught my eye. There's